Hello folks, welcome to the first episode of Sitting in the Grass with Daniel, and probably the last episode. Today we're going to be talking about this X8 multi-rotor. Um, as you can see, it's an X and it has eight motors. So it uses RCMC 3407 400 kV motors. Um, these are the six cell capable motors and it runs on six cells. Uh, right now I have uh, four 2350 milliamp hour batteries on it. And uh, I also normally run 3000 milliamp hour batteries on it. And that makes a 9000 milliamp hour six cell. And the ESCs are the RCMC 30 amp HV ESCs. Uh, it uses 25 millimeter carbon tubes. And the ESCs actually can fit in the carbon tubes. But I don't have them in there as you can see. Uh, I initially put them in there and posted a picture of it on Facebook, on Stratus Productions' Facebook page. And people were like, those are going to overheat. And then I was like, oh yeah, you're right. And then I took them out. So maybe if it were winter I could get away with putting them in there, but it's summer and it's quite hot and the tubes are black. So that wouldn't work out too well. These are 15 by 6.5 props. And uh, this would normally be a bit big for this motor, but we're flying at high altitudes a lot, so they work well. Now, this frame is the, is the uh, interesting part. So I designed this frame and had it CNC cut. It's just a top plate and a bottom plate. And then there's plates uh, that go on the motors, and then it uses like 24 total tube clamps that are aluminum to hold everything together. And then in the middle, uh, in between two of the arms on each side, it has other arms that are for landing gear. And these are the Foxtech retractable landing gear. I'll be showing these in another video soon, but they work really well. They're a bit bulky for this small of a rig. I had to cut them down a lot, but they work, it's all right. So I'm thinking about uh, producing a bunch of these frames to sell so if you would be interested in something like this uh, tell me and I can manufacture some of these frames here's another look at it can also do of course quadcopter configuration or just a normal quadcopter and uh, this frame doesn't have the features at the moment but the frames that I'm thinking of making uh, has holes for a bunch of different options and variations. One of those is you can have an arm that goes straight across on the top and then the two bottom or legs on the back go out at uh, different angles. That would be good for putting a camera in the front out of view of props if you have like a two axis gimbal. Um, so that would be more like a sport configuration where it'd be better for a FPV. And then another feature it has is holes to mount vibration isolators, the same ones that I already sell and then a plate that sits on top of those vibration isolators and hangs out over the front. Um, and then you can mount a camera or a gimbal on that. So it's an isolated structure that goes on top of the main frame plate to hold a camera or whatever else. So if you're, again, if you're interested, comment and I'll produce those. This one in particular uses DJI Wukong for control. This rig is really designed uh, for a dual operator system. So one person's aiming the camera and one person's flying the helicopter. I don't have that set up yet, but I will in the near future. Like I said, this is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. It has the capability of shooting our 1920 by 1080 raw DNG sequence. So it's very high quality. Uh, it also shoots ProRes. So it's a super high quality camera for the price and the size. I think it weighs like a total of 14 ounces. This gimbal, uh, some of you might have seen it. I've posted pictures on Facebook of it. And it's basically like all aluminum that I just bent and uh, drilled holes in. So it's a three axis gimbal. It uses the RC timer uh, 5010 motors. And on the back, as you see here, it has an Alexmos 32 bit controller board. And I have another IMU to do dual IMUs on the way, but right now it's just using one. Um, like I'm gonna set up dual operator 
so that there's another receiver on the gimbal and someone else controls it. I'm gonna set that up in a little while, but right now, just for testing and tuning, I'm just doing a single operator. So I control the camera tilt on my radio over there. And then the gimbal just, uh, it's just, it follows the, the, the frame. It's just on follow mode. So right now the landing, the retractable landing gear aren't really needed, but um, they're there for when I set up dual operator. Now for another cool feature of this frame, the vibration isolator that the gimbal is hanging from. I designed this vibration isolator from cameras about this size to something like a 5D Mark III it could handle. And basically what it is is four isolators connected to a plate with standoffs going from the top plate to the, or through the bottom plate to the camera, and then from the bottom plate through the top plate to the frame. So the, the weight is squashing down on the isolators, as you can see, and that creates a super gushy camera platform. And it works extremely well. There are zero vibrations in the video. Right now, there's a little bit of shake going on in the gimbal. It's not from vibration, it's just from uh i don't know just it's it's tuned well i just i've just got to work on this a little bit more there's just some flex and it shakes a tiny bit a lot of the time you can't notice it but if the thing gets going fast uh, then you'll notice it so i'm still working on tuning it um but i just decided to make this video and show it as of now but once i get it all working i'll shoot a lot of video with it and you'll see the results. Now, I plan on building another one of these frames in the other configuration that I was talking about earlier with the two motors uh, up on the sides here and then the two motors in the back that are kind of slanted back more. Um, and that's gonna use those uh, Monto RC Avroto motors from the big octocopter. So that'll be cool. And with that, I'm gonna have a two axis gimbal for this camera. So that will be better for like high speed FPV, but I'm gonna build that once I get more of these frames produced. Cause right now this is just a single prototype. I only have one of them. So that'll be coming soon as well. So that's really it. That's, those are the features of this uh, quadcopter or X8. So if you're interested in the frame, let me know. And now we're gonna fly it a little bit and do some flight video, so. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so today here in America, it's very windy, but X8s handle wind pretty well, so we're gonna fly.